chess review. What's up, gay boys? How's everyone doing? We're playing five-dimensional chess. So I found this checkmate. Well, I didn't find it. I, I, was, I, I read it. We need a live action chart chess game. I'll watch it. I haven't seen it yet. Someone linked it to me. So I, I go back to the past of the bishop to create a new branch in the timeline. And then once I move the knight south, it, and it results in checkmate because the knight will eventually be able to move up two spatial dimensions. Like two spatial dimensions up and one spatial dimension. Sorry, one, one dimension up, which is like just one square up, and then two spatial dimensions north. And then what that does is that that makes it so the, the knight is attacking the king in another timeline in the present from another dimension. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's five dimensional chess. Thank you for the follow, Charred Frog and Cryo Solid. Um, so, I was. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, Hack Frauds 20. Alright, so I was told that you played a chess game on stream. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find it. Hold on, I'll change my... Let me, let me do this, hold on. Uh, display capture. Alright, let's go to Adam. Thank you for the follow. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, this is your most recent broadcast. Oh, I see a chessboard here. Okay, all right, so are you playing with Scoot? Let's see, hold on. Teaming. Is this the right clip, or do you want me, should I, should I go forward more? Should I go forward more, or should I just? I got it. Or is this fine? Forward a bit? Should I start from here now? This is the scene, all right. <coughs> all right, hold on. Can you guys? All right, I see the foot cam. All right, all right. Yes. I see a chess set. All right, the chess set is looks like it's correctly made. I see a one and h one are the right color, and the king is on e one, and so that, that all looks good. Oh, oh, it's a real game! Oh my god, you guys are so loud. Quick game though. How is it really quick if it's chess though? There's there's speed chess, Adam. There's people who make a career playing bullet chess, which is one minute. Oh, Alright, so these chess. are modes. Okay, hold on. Quick game, long game, infinite game. Let's do quick. Alright, speed chess. No thank you, infinite game. <laughs> Forever. Infinite game just means, like, you, you know, you're not... You don't have a time control. I'm actually... Actually, you can play bullet chess, which is technically... Ooh, what is this book here? It says... The Garden Enthusiast's Handbook. That's not a chess book. There should be chess books here. Cooking. Game. Over here. Yeah, Vexel's not getting in here. Knock out the other player's king to win the game. <laughs> no. You don't have to do a full <laughs> of doing it. Wait, what's the other? Yes, of course, this guy. All right. And why does it say end with draw? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, is your... Is your Forever goal? Game. Is your goal to end with a draw? Yeah, Vexel's not getting in here. <laughs> no. Can't wait to say checkmate. Oh shit. Then you'll have to wait forever. You'll have to wait forever. Oh, please don't play a three on move one. We actually have to like. Oh, please okay. don't play. Just put. I guess play, I'm going for first play in the center. Wait, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Custom. That's, hmm. that's not custom. It's the rules. <laughs> Ooh, is he gonna play c four? Is he, are we gonna start with an English? Interesting. Oh, C4, yes, play Confirm it, play it. Confirm move. Yeah, we're getting an English. Beautiful. All right, so it's a quick game because... All right, so I have an English opening. we only have, like, a limited amount oh, of Oh, no. For... He's going to play a Dutch. Ooh, F5 is very, 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 um, what's the word? Optimistic. So the Dutch defense against uh, the English opening. Never, never a good start. Yeah. Uh, I, don't right. like, I don't like, I don't like this, I don't like this C5 all of a sudden. Now you don't have a center. Like now, hold on, I gotta, sorry, I need to, um, we, we need to explain what's going on here. Cause this is, this is, this is a learner stream. This isn't just an entertainment reaction stream. All right, so we get the, we get the English, we get this kind of like F5, which is very, um, <coughs> interesting. So what, when he plays f5, what you can do is you can take the center. You can play like d4, d4, knight c3, knight f3, and then like bishop d3 and castles. 
and you have like a big center, eventually you're going to play e e4 and hit this f5 pawn so you can open up the center and maybe hit his king. Um, so this f5 is like very, very dubious. And then you played f4, which just opens up your own king. Um, so I don't, I really don't know about f4. f4 is like definitely not what you want to be doing here. Uh, but let's see what happens. We'll, we'll get Vexel to, to review this game yeah. after. Okay, so f4. Sure he'll, critique he'll talk the like half clearly an hour horrible. About it. Uh, half an hour is probably right. I'll be talking for like half an hour. All right. Game so we playing. have e6. So we have f4, e6. e6 is reasonable because now he's threatening this check. It's not a super big threat because you can always block with g3, but. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. He's got a bishop on a fate. He has his I bishop like how it up. Does all your moves. All right. Okay, so bishop b4. Uh, interesting move. Uh, wait, what did what did Adam play? Oh, Adam played Adam played e3. So we have bishop b4. It's kind of pinning the pawn for now, but probably knight c3. This is a very this is not a good pawn structure for either side because now you have these checks and you really don't want to deal with that. Um, I would if I were here, I'd play like bishop d3 and play for queen for, for the queen check and maybe like take here eventually. Um, you could also play knight c3, something more normal. This is this is not a good pawn structure for either side. Look at the chest. I love chess teams. Let's go. Oh boy, 1000 IQ. Looks symmetrical in the worst way possible. If symmetrical positions usually favor white because white is a usually move ahead. Oh, gorsh. Um. Alright, let's see what happens here. I'll watch more of the game so I'm not pausing after every second. A3. Okay, I like a I like A3 a lot actually, because A3 you're it's kind of setting a trap for him. He has to move the bishop now. And if he moves to A5, you can play B4, C5 trapping the bishop. So I like this. So he's gonna move the bishop back, but let's see where he does where he puts it. And will he blunder the bishop? Do it! Oh he played bishop a5, he just blundered the bishop. He just blundered the bishop. So now you play b4 and c5 and you just win Yeah. Oh my god, Adam's good at chess. What the fuck? He plays b4 and then bishop b6, c5, gg. The game over, he's losing the bishop here. c5, play it. Yes! Oh my god, Adam's a god. Wow, I can't believe Adam found this. That's actually really impressive. He played a3 before c5, literally what I said he should have done. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, is Adam the black pieces? Yeah, Adam's the white pieces. Looks like he's, uh... Yeah, he's losing a piece here. He's getting goofed. So there's no so me. what what he needs to do here is to create he needs to create counterplay so he needs to play like you know queen h4 check he needs to make this or e5 would be interesting try here to make the yeah, situation a little bit muddy may, may or maybe like knights f6 and castles and just try to just try to go after his well, king because you're down material here scoot be getting goofed over here yeah you're losing a piece there's nothing you can do about it which of a5 was a blunder What's a good chess book for beginners? Um, Jeremy Silman. Look up Jeremy Silman. He has a lot of good books. The Amateur's Mind is, is not a bad one. Okay. But he's going to take your bishop. He's not going to, like, take on d6. So I don't know about d6 here. Probably knight f6 is a better move. Yeah, yeah, play it. So he takes b5. Yes, that'll do. Mm-hmm. They, they have a voice line. I wouldn't take with the c pawn here because that just creates a backward d pawn. Uh, Scott's just... Oh, take with the H... Yeah, yeah, take with the A-pawn. Good job. Good job, Scott. Alright. I'm impressed! <sighs> okay, let's uh, let's talk about what just happened here. So, A3, Bishop A5, and then B... B uh, and then we have B4, C5, and the Bishop's trap. So, here, after A3, he should have retreated the Bishop back on the diagonal. Like, Bishop E7 would be fine. Um... But yeah, you can't you can't play like so. This is why you don't play f5 because your opponent just gets a gigantic center. Um, so yeah, this is really good. So he played d6, which I'm not a big fan of. Probably just play knight f6 here in castle. Um, but he played d6, make this main line, and take the pawn. Take with the a pawn is correct. You don't want to take with the c pawn because it just leaves this backward pawn on d6, which you can never defend. Um, staying with the a pawn is fine, but you're already down material here. You're probably fully lost. He should Adam should play bishop b2 and hit this pawn. Uh, this game's almost already over. Uh, he also has this check whenever he wants it. Um, yeah, this game, this game is really good here for Adam. Uh, I take a bath, you keep nerding out. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Bishop b2, does he play it? That'd be really remarkable yep. if he played bishop b2 here. No, he's going to play knight c3. Yeah, no, cancel. Horsey! That. Oh, bishop b2. I do like horsey. Wow, Adam. Holy shit. How does Adam see this? 
I don't know what you play. He doesn't even play chess. He just like understands that the diagonal is weak. He just he just grabbed the dark square bishop and now he's going to oppress the dark squares with his bishop, right? So like you just grabbed his dark square bishop, right? So because he doesn't have a dark square bishop now, you have like you can oppress him on the dark squares. So this is like this is the right this is the right way to play. And his rook's gonna hang here if he doesn't play knight f6. Scoot has to play knight f6 here if he doesn't want to lose material, lose even more material. He's not. He's ignoring the threat. Just bish, bishop d7. All right, Adam, take on g7. Yes, sir. That rook's a goner. Ah, right, it's gg. I would resign here if I were Scoot. Well, probably not, because I'm playing against Adam, so maybe I'll have a chance. But yeah, uh, Scoot is completely fucked here. This is absolutely. This is astounding. Adam's playing like very, very good chess. Oh no! Do not play king f7. He's gonna play king f7. No, just play like just, just, just. Just play like queen e7 and castle queen side. Queen e7, knight c6, castle queen side. But you already played a takes b6, so you have no like your a files open. This is really uh, ugly. Queen e7 is probably not a bad move here. Bishop takes a8. Yeah, grab that rook. Grab that rook. Only old chum. This is the real fight. Adam is Vexel's equal confirmed. It's true. Why would I do this? A long time ago, before I started taking chess super seriously, Adam and I played one which game, oh, which took a very is. long time to end. We played for a while, and yeah. I won. Yeah, it's sort of weird to know which one you're doing. See, like the one where you actually take the piece. Yeah, it, just it looks weird. Over top of it's like stabbing. Them. You really need you need to really really need to move yeah. your king here. You're not maybe knight. Of, you can play like knight f six, but he's just gonna take on f six. You're down two pieces. Uh, yeah. Knight f6 isn't terrible. Did Adam know Vexel in a chess review? Maybe. The horse's gambit. The knight's gambit. We don't have horses in chess, we have knights. Okay. So knight f6. Scoot is inviting. Bishop takes f6 I mean... here. So bishop takes f6, queen takes f6. Um, Adam would be hitting. A, Scoot would be hitting the rook on a1. So Adam, Adam might lose the rook on a1 if. Um, if after bishop f6, queen f6. So here, I'll show you what's going on. So this happened, and then he played bishop e6, takes, and then queen here takes, and knight f6. Um, he's inviting bishop f6, queen f6, hitting the rook on a1, which um, Adam would have to reply with knight c3, because if he played knight f3 or bishop e3, he'd lose the rook on a1. Um, but there's no guarantee that Adam takes this, this knight. He's not forced to yet. Um, maybe after Queen of Eight, he'd be forced to take the knight. But right now, he can he can like develop a piece still if he wants to. Um, so so far, pretty good, uh, pretty good from Adam. Scoot's not playing terribly either, but he's definitely lost two pieces. Uh, what is this link that Femboys has put in chat? Should I click on this, or am I gonna get banned? Does that mean chess is racist against hey, furries? Yes. You Thank follow. you for the follow, Sean whoa, whoa. Kathleen. Whoa. I can click? Alright. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's cursed. What the fuck? You would never link porn? Hmm. You mean not on Twitch, right? How's it going, Zach? Alright, knight f3 is a reasonable move here. You what? Bishop b2 is okay too. I play knight f3 if I was him. Knight c3 is also good. He's gonna take the knight. Yeah, take the knight. Do what you gotta do. And then queen takes f6, hitting a1. Just saw the cat in the half from 2003. It made me want to vomit. I haven't seen it. Or maybe I, I think I have seen it and I just tried to press that film. So that was awful. Alright, so you have to be careful. Your rook on a1 is hanging at him. You probably know this, right? So just play knight c3 here, or even d4, no. although d4, d4 is a little anti positional. Knight c3 is a good move here. Uh, Defend the rook, yes. No. Uh, rook a2 is an ugly move. Just play knight c3, Adam. This boy. Oh, I like that it twirls. <laughs> okay, so Adam saw the attack, so he th this happened. And Adam saw that his rook was attacked, so he played rook a2 to get out of it. But rook a2 is kind of ugly, and you don't want your rook on a2. You, want, you just play knight c3, nice nice knight attacking the center, um, defending the rook, develops a piece. Then you can play rook c1, put the rook on the open c file. This is this is much nicer. Of course, you'd be losing this pawn eventually, but you don't really care about this pawn. You're going to go after the king eventually. So... It's probably a better way to play, but so far, I mean, there's no complaints. You're not going to lose this game. You're completely winning here. Big fan. You twirls. I do. I do be like that. 
He should play knight c6 here, Scoot should. I don't like this moving the bishop like 50 times. Uh, okay. That's an interesting move. It's playable. Bishop a4 hits the queen. He can't take the bishop because it's defended with a rook on a8. So Adam's just going to move his queen. Uh-oh. He can't take that bishop, Adam. I believe you can... Oh, yeah, you can. He can't but... take that bishop. Almost made a blunder. That was a blunder check. Good job, Adam. Queen h5 check is a great move here because it basically forces a trade of queens or forces black to forfeit his casting privileges. Both of those things favor white. Fucking... Check, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now you have to be really careful. Queen e, queen, king e7, he, he, Adam has queen takes h7 check. Uh, like this is this game's over. Yeah, this game's over. King of fate, like your king is now in like. Ugh. Uh, uh, this game's over. I would resign. This game's like been over for like, five minutes. Oh, but you could win on time. Scoot could try to flag here. Because there's too many. I forgot this was a speed game, so. You can still win on time if Adam is slow enough. Yeah, I guess. So. And blunder check is no, it's not a. It's not a. It's not a tutorial. You know what? It does a little bit. I love chess, man. All right, so knight c6. He should have played this move 50 years ago. I don't know what took him so long to play knight c6. Um, now you're gonna run into like b5 and like your position is as hideous yeah so white wins again just because you know white has a starting advantage Ooh, but will adam make mistakes here queen takes c7 is an excellent move yeah i think that's yeah it's just just menacing here uh yeah scoot needs a miracle I'm even trying to like figure out what could be a good move here. Ooh, maybe if he tried. Okay, yeah, you could try Queen Bishop B3. No, not. What are you doing? He's just throwing. Okay, Suits so just given up. Oh no. So why can't you just take the Bishop with the King here? That's my question, Adam. Adam, destroy of chess. When did you find out that you love chess? I always loved chess, but I never was good at it until like uh, a few years ago when I started taking check? it seriously. Check. You can, yeah, this check is good. You can play this. Um, and then after he moves his king or something, you should um, you should grab his bishop with your king. King king e8 isn't he getting mated. You still have a light square bishop, no? Do you have bishop h5 here? I feel like you have bishop h. No, you don't. You have to play bishop e2 first. Ooh, bishop g4. Bishop sorry, bishop b5 is a good move here too. What are you doing, Adam? Just leave the queen. The queen's fine. Don't stop touching the queen. Leave the queen there. Grab his bishop. And then play like yeah, bishop, okay. bishop b5 yeah. or bishop b2. You have a minute left. This is too close. Queen c7. Alright. I think you could you could have taken on b7 too if you wanted to. If you really want to. Queen takes b7 is a great move because it hits the knight and the rook. And the knight's not defended anymore. Uh, I think he sees it now. Yeah, he does. Alright, so now you're losing more material. Um, Scoot is losing more material, I should say. Um, Scoot should really go for some sort of attack here. Uh, you shouldn't, uh, you don't move the knight here. He's gonna, he's gonna take your rook with check. So this is just some, this is just a massacre. Check. Oh my god. He is, is so dead in a million ways. No wonder Adam told me to review this. He's just absolutely mauling the cat. Watch him. I, I, if I were Adam here, I'd give up my queen just to be funny. I would play queen takes knight. Check. Yeah, 10 seconds. He's going to lose. Scoot's going to lose on time here. We're not going to get a checkmate, I don't think, over the board. But uh, Adam's just happy moving his queen everywhere and grabbing everything. There's still a bishop hanging on d1, by the way. Does Scoot even have a strategy? I think his strategy is throw your pieces at Adam and hope hope that he gets confused. I think I'm out of time. Cats are never have never been any Bye -bye. good at chess. If if Scoot tried to attack Adam's king earlier, he would have had Check. more of a chance. And this is the right thing you should be doing. If you're Yeah If you're if you're up on time, you should be you should be checking 
a lot to you know try to flag your opponent. It was like the best I've ever done at chess. So. I'm glad it was recorded. Well done. I haven't. <laughs> I'm trying to think the last time I played chess. Yeah. Well, Scoot, I'm giving lessons, and it looks like you could benefit. So next time you and Adam are playing, you could have a have a better time. What does this say? It says the ancient game of chess. I'm this gonna say my teens. This is a chess book. I didn't even notice that. All right. I know I know where the things move, but uh, zero zero. Yeah, strategy. Vexel understands the game on a level that neither of us can comprehend really yeah well i appreciate that or would ever like, care he, to oh would ever care to, like, to Ooh, basic end games fourth edition name certain things that we did if they were things like i don't know if they were somebody things. somebody should send this to vexel so he can review the game all right let's talk about this game um so the continuation here was rook rook over um and then adam played what adam played uh no, it was Scoot's, Scoot's turn here. Scoot played bishop here. Adam played check. He played king over, takes. And then you had... And, uh, and Scoot just... I think Scoot played knight c6 at this point. Uh, and Adam took. And then bishop d1. And then takes. And then something like knight here, takes with check, king moves. Um, and then something like check, king moves again, and then takes. And then the game ended here. Um, have you read The Art of Attack? No. I think I may have a copy of it, though. Did you get the game out of 10? It was a great game. Um, I'm only, my only regret is I didn't get to, we didn't get to see it end in checkmate. Uh, I would give the game a, a solid 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10. Uh, so, obviously, when you played Bishop D1, you can just take on D1 with the king. Um, but even earlier here, actually, it was... Here he played king here even, I think. He didn't even like... And then, like this... <laughs> it was like takes and bishop d1, something like this. It was absolutely madness. Um, fun out of 10. Closer to a 7 than a 5, yes. Yeah, so some mistakes here. Some obvious improvements that could have been made. So, first of all, the opening... Definitely not very traditional. Um, this is a very unusual opening. But this a3, b4 is a very nice, very nice trap. Um, you see this in the Sicilian a lot, actually. So you have you have in the in the Sicilian you get um, you get this kind of you get this kind of structure a lot, um, where let's say you well actually let's say let's say it's a close Sicilian, yeah, um, and then you play like you play like a Moscow, like a bishop here. So this is kind of the same idea with this a6 is kind of the same as a3 because if he plays here, you can play b5 and c4, and the bishop is trapped. Um, so this is this is from a, you know you, you can get, you get this in proper openings. So if you ever play against a Sicilian, you don't wanna you wanna be careful on a6. You wanna make sure you retreat your bishop somewhere safe because because this kind of it's like a whip just kind of does this and, and your bishop gets trapped. Um, uh, in the game, it wasn't Sicilian, but it was a similar pawn structure where you had this kind of advanced pawn. And you got you got the same kind of uh, same kind of opening trap. D6 probably not the best way to continue. Um, bishop g7, you really need to defend this pawn, so knight f6 is in store here. Um, so when you don't play knight f6 here, you're, you're losing material, uh, like a lot of material. And, you know, good job, like, noticing that your rooks attacked and moving it. So the difference between these two players, the reason Adam won and Scoot lost, is because Adam was looking for the threats. He was, tr he was looking for, what is my opponent trying to do? Where, what, uh, what pieces is he attacking? What pieces can I attack? Uh, and he was not allowing his pieces to be captured. So here he saw that his rook was attacked and he played rook a2 to avoid the rook getting captured. Uh, whereas Scoot was just, um, his strategy I would describe as giving pieces away. Um, he was very generous. He was gifting things left and right. And um, and that, that often isn't how you want to play. If your goal is to win, which it doesn't always, your goal, your goal I, I like to think that your goal in chess is to have fun. So as as long as Scoot have had fun, then then perhaps everybody won. Uh, but strictly speaking, uh, Adam won on time. So we didn't see a checkmate, which I'm always sad sad about. I think he had a chance. Well, I mean, okay. So if you're Scoot, let's talk about what Scoot could have done different. If you're Scoot, you should first of all obviously you should have defended. Um, but let's say you just lost the bishop here and you want you want to you want to like try to find some sort of attack. I start with knight f6. This is a very reasonable move. You want to 
castle as soon as possible and play e5 and try to attack the enemy king. So let's say Adam takes the bishop. You can you don't even need, really need to recapture here. You can just castle. Because uh, cause the price of a pawn is not going to matter in terms of the kind of development that you're getting. But let's say you want to recapture. That's fine. You lose a tempo for it, but whatever. So let's say Adam continues with this plan, like bishop b2, castles. Let's say Adam takes, which would be a mistake here. I think Adam should play like knight c3, knight f3, maybe bishop b2 or castle. But the idea here is that let's say takes, for example, um, and then let's say like knight c3. Uh, and then you want to play e5 as soon as possible. So that after he takes, you can play this queen check. Uh, and then, you know, potentially, let's say you move your queen again. And then you can you can maybe start start some sort of attack. Maybe play, 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 play for the win this way. Try to make his king a little bit uncomfortable in the center. Uh, if you can open up the file, that's going to help a lot. So you want you want to you want to try to create chances for yourself. You don't want to just keel over and give away all your pieces just because you lost a piece early, because um, you always have a finding chance. Um, but yeah, so uh, well played from Adam. He played very reasonably. Let's see what Stockfish. Let's see how Stockfish rates the game. We can actually analyze this with a computer, um, and we can see what. Uh, do I have like a throwaway study here? Temp two. I can just put it in a temporary study. Let's see what the computer thinks about this, about their play. Um, see if see how how accurately they played. So we're, do, we're doing a computer analysis. Um, so we can see that this kind of large white. You see this kind of like wave of white. It starts out kind of white's a little bit better, and then it just jumps, and white is completely winning. Um, so we can see that Adam played with an average sent upon loss of three. That's better than the world champion. I'm not even kidding. Uh, the reason this happens is because after a certain point, after you get to plus 10, uh, even if you're playing inaccurately, the computer doesn't count it as a mistake anymore because you're up so much material that the computer just counts it as like, yeah, I mean, you're still winning. As long as you don't make a mistake that causes you to lose a, a gigantic advantage, uh, you know, the computer like doesn't really care. Um, so yeah, the computer thinks you've made zero inaccuracies, zero mistakes, and zero blunders. So basically, you played like a god, Adam did. Um, and Scoot obviously made one inaccuracy early. He made a blunder when he played, you see this bishop a5. We talked about this being a blunder. You see how there's like a question mark next to it. Because of this b4, which is a beautiful reply, and, and the right way to win the material, this basically won the game. Um, so so yeah, I mean, I mean uh, yeah, chess god. So yeah, I think he played, you can see he was never worse. He was never in any sort of trouble. He wasn't even really in time trouble. He always had the edge on the clock as well. So I think uh, Adam played very, very well. And I'm looking forward to our to a uh, to a rematch with Scoot uh, or even a new match if you ever want to uh, play against the master. Um, so that was really fun. With that said, In five-dimensional chess, your pieces can move not only normally, but across dimensions and timelines. So you can send your piece to the past if it can legally move there. For example, a bishop can move as much long as it wants in any dire in any direction, but in more in like two dimensions. 